This week I am in Oxfordshire and will be staying for a few nights at a golf course and spa resort that I've heard a lot of good things about. Is the sun is almost shining but it's most positively not raining right so before I take on what looks an interesting fourth hole I'm going to talk about the first three which interesting enough I have shot level par so I think we started off with a par four then you're going to see a par three and then you're going to see a par five I think I've had one bad shot but I've been playing very much within myself and it's important because I want to talk to you about amongst other things the world handicap system and I'm really worried about what it's just done to my own handicap but more importantly I want to know what you all think of it because what I'm gathering nobody's that keen right let's see if we can get one going down here so the man who's just leaving my fairway is my target line with a bit of left to right my course management has been pretty decent in recent weeks and one of the reasons I think I've been doing reasonably well Come back ball, yeah, just shaping back now. That's pretty damn good to be fair. My sky carry out to see what uh, I picked up driver as you normally do anything that uh, isn't a par three go straight for driver but I'm looking at two big bunkers on the right and in terms of some course management I need 210 to those bunkers and a hole only place 300 so I think logically and I want to talk about course management and getting your handicap down and things like that in this video so I'm going to switch up to a forward and uh, if I can get something down there with this I should only leave a fairly short iron in So I know I can pretty much drill at those bunkers and I can't really, I can't reach. That should be good, you know. I didn't get it perfect, but yeah, I think that's well short of everything. And I uh, shouldn't leave too much in. Good decision, and. My iron shot was also well short of the green. Course management at its finest, eh? As ever, this series is possible due to the support from our partners at PXG. Big thanks to them, and also for all of you who continue to tune in every Monday night. We got our hole eight, we're doing okay. A bit of uh, scrappy stuff, but I'll talk about the scorecard in a bit because that's mega important as well. Uh, but this hole 180 into the breeze to say the least. So it's only 180 yards, we're gonna play four wood. And the reason I'm doing that is because for me, all the trouble, mainly being water on the left, is short of the green. So I'm happy if I can get this one going slightly long, if anything. So how cute can we be? I'm actually going to go in off the left as well, which is a bit of a brave one. Oh, wow, and that's a shot. That's a shot. Right, just sit down now. Stay. 
Oh, I don't know whether it's gone into the bunker on the right of the flag. It was quite a big high uh, fade, which is what the intended shot was. And I can't quite work out if it's gone into the bunker or if we've just stayed on the fringe. But either way, I'm dry. Well, the good news is we stayed above ground, but uh, it's a real awkward one just over the little nub here. I think maybe before I play this one, I think the Springs is an incredibly good play and stay venue. And uh, just have a little look round at this place and then come back and we'll see if we can make, well, I think if I can get up and down, I'll be happy. The Springs is one of the best play and stay venues I've visited. First of all, they have multiple options for accommodation. Several options to stay in lodges from one bedroom to four bedrooms. Each is a mix of modern styling, comfort and luxury. If you prefer a hotel room, then you can choose that option as well. And as you can see, they are also super luxurious. The hotel building is where you'll find the 1893 spa facility. The perfect bit of post round relaxation, or if you fancy a bit of pampering. Every aspect of the Spring Spa and Golf Resort oozes a bit of quality, and I can't tell you just how good this setup is. Right, this is a delicate one. Sit down. Do you know what? I thought I played that really well. It's rolled on a little bit and I certainly need the putter. Just left myself a little, uh, a little bit further than one, but the chip shot was one of them ones where you don't want to get too cute and uh, leave it in the long stuff still. So, it should be straightforward. Nice and bold. Positive, I mean by bold. Oh, no. Do I keep leaving the putter blade just a little bit open? And it seems to be when I miss, I'll leak it just a tad out to that right hand side. Anyway, that's a bogey, unfortunately. I think I deserved a par there. There was no such thing as deserving a par. Birdie on the previous hole, and uh, I want to talk about my scorecard. Right, so before I get on to uh, my ninth hole, I just want to let you to let me know in the comment section down below what are your opinions of the WHS, the World Handicap System. What are your thoughts on it right now before I give you mine and how it has impacted on my own handicap in the last couple of weeks in an incredible way. I'm blown away as to what I'm going to tell you I'm playing off right now. But before we get to that, what are your thoughts on it? We'll use someone else's tea peg, I think, there. That'll do nicely. Uh, it seems to me like the par threes might be a bit of a, a feature because this is uh, playing 160 from these yellows. Can go a bit further back as well, this one. But uh, yeah, nice golf hole. The water really shouldn't come into play. At least uh, I hope it don't eat me words. 160, a down breeze this time. I'm playing seven iron. See if I can keep the score going. Okay, that is. It's just a bit left of flag, but it's a real crisp strike. Sit. Oh yeah. I'm happy again with that. Ball flight, relatively neutral, didn't do a great deal at all. Stayed uh, left of the flag all uh, throughout its ball flight. And I think that's pretty much come up pin eye. Golf course isn't too demanding, fairways are plenty wide enough and the rough isn't too heavy if you do go astray. It's the type of place where all levels of golfer can have some fun. There are a few holes that throw in a few water hazards which add a little excitement and drama and the condition of the golf course was superb and seems to me a great venue for society days and group stay and plays.
about the WHS system and how it has massively impacted on my handicap. Very brief explanation, I was 8.6 the last time I was a member of a golf club. I haven't played in official comps for maybe two years, but I carried over that handicap and I played in two club competitions and they were only 12 hole comps, they were a midweek roll up, they were Stableford comps, I didn't break par on either occasion, I scored 22 points and obviously 24 points would have been par. What you've got to guess before we go any further is having put those two cards in on this new system, what did my handicap go from? So from 8.6, what is my current handicap? I've got a chance of uh, salvaging a par on what is stroke one and it's without doubt stroke one. Turn in? No. Well, it was a misread. I think I'll take a five after the tee shot, which uh, was a little bit pulled left. I had to hook one round the trees and uh, well, we finished at a bogey on stroke one. So as ever, it's photo of the week. Andy or Tracy in the comments down below. Right, before I get on to what is another great risk or reward all the springs, the 17th, we're getting near the end of the round. And uh, this WHS system, I went from 8.6, and I certainly wouldn't have guessed that I then went down to 5.3 is my new handicap after playing two 12 hole rounds off the yellers. I haven't even played 18 holes at the club yet, but for some reason, I have been deducted 3.3 shots. I mean, I'm going to do a, a bigger video when I talk about, this was at the club that Lewis is the pro. Like I said, I've just joined. I just wanted to get back into playing competitive golf again. And having not been able to shoot par over 12 holes, I've been deducted 3.3 shots. And I find it absolutely staggering. And of all the tales I've listened to since, all I keep hearing is how people, particularly the lower end of the spectrum in terms of handicap, seem to be getting punished more than that higher. I don't know, you tell me, I've been out of this game for too long, but uh, there certainly seems a lot of golfers that aren't happy. And there's a lot of repercussions because straight away I'm thinking, I've got another roll up coming Thursday, I can't win playing off eight, I certainly ain't gonna win playing off five, or at least I don't think I will. And that means, am I reluctant now to put money in a pot? So there's a lot of things for a deeper discussion, but right now, my new handicap is 5.3 and at this stage stood on the 17th i think i'm seven or eight over uh, with a couple to go anyway let's get this one cracking as you can see par four 240 yards on the fly to carry to the green might appeal to some big hitters it wouldn't to me on a good day and it certainly won't with the wind in so i'm going for something about 180 on the dog leg and leave myself a flick with a wedge it's that simple eh? that's the plan but it looks a stunning golf hole with the kind of sleepers all uh, bordering the green there and water in front. Ah, that should be spot on. Yeah, we've probably got a fair bit still in. It's playing definitely into a strong wind, but we're where I intended. And we'll see if that takes a bit of the angle out, but I think we've still got to go pretty much over that water. Well, I wasn't brave enough to go for the back of the green and uh, in doing so, I've left myself on the wrong level. Bit more, bit more. Oh, right on line. Oh. I haven't quite got the pace today. And then it's these ones that I've kind of left open. So let's see if we can finish off. This would be a nice par. Oh, it's the same again. It's the same, missing to the right. Oh, that's frustrating. Very frustrating. Well, what I've got to say is, I mean, the um, obviously the idea is with this show is to 
off the beaten track and for me this was definitely off the beaten track it's not an area i know particularly well um, and it's been absolutely stunning and um, we took a drive out to henley on thames earlier today and just have a little look around this place because it's absolutely gorgeous Henley on Thames is, well, as you might expect from the name, located on the banks of the River Thames, an upmarket town which is just 37 miles west of London. It's filled with restaurants, coffee bars, and some stunning architecture. Henley was a 20 minute drive from the Springs and 20 minutes in the opposite direction is the wonderful city of Oxford. And we took the short drive the following morning to visit what is possibly my favorite city in the UK. It is simply stunning. I could spend hours walking through the university streets and admiring the breathtaking beauty of the surroundings. The detail in the architecture is quite hard to comprehend. To have such a fine city so close to the Springs Resort makes it all the more appealing for golf breaks. Now Henley on Thames was gorgeous as you can see and uh, we're going to go into the clubhouse later on tonight for something to eat. What I will uh, applaud um, the Springs on is their price on the menu because normally you come into a clubhouse, especially on a resort type of course, which I'd class this as, and well without putting it uh, too bluntly you get ripped off and it's far from that, it's really realistic and the fact that we're sort of down south, I'm paying sort of, uh, well, Prices that I would associate with up north, to be quite honest with you, and uh, I wasn't expecting it, so fair news. And uh, where am I supposed to go here, by the way, on 18? I can, all I can see is trees, and they're right in front of me. I'm really confused, but I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go left, I think. Left and try and get one to cut back. I've gone too tight and probably at the trees. Oh, oh, I got lucky. Well, I went through the tops of them and uh, yeah, they say trees are 90% there, don't they? Right, for the record, um, and this WHS, I finished the shot. I had a, a bad finish, I had a double bogey on the back, which is a rarity, and that last hole was a bit weird. Anyway, I bogeyed it, so. I was back in 43, out in 39. That means a gross of 82 minus five, my new handicap, leaves a net of 77. So in all of those three rounds, got nowhere near playing to five, and I'm a little bit bewildered. But anyway, on a positive note, just how good is the Springs?